Wala naman pala ako, wala naman ako sakit. Dito lang ako sinipon ngayon uli. Emotion po. Yes, for a moment, we experience uh, being locked down. Uh, we cannot do our regular uh, routine. But those moments, those moments that we had experienced, uh, these things bring us more closer to God. It should be. It should be. Or, on the other way, way around, parang hindi. Parang... Imbis na lalong malapit kay Lord, lalo atang lumayo. Sabi po ni Charles Spurgeon, whatever we are experiencing now, whatever trials that we have, well, we have now, mas okay yon. Kasi alam naman natin lahat ng bagay na nangyayari sa atin. Everything happens for a reason. Amen? Done? Kesa naman sa okay lahat ngayon, and then so sa eternal torment naman ang magiging puntahan natin. Mas magiging reminder ito ng kabutihan sa atin ng Panginoon. And we do know for four months, God has been faithful to us. Amen? Kasakamay, mga pinagpala na ating Panginoon. So, praise God. Nakaka, nakakatakot talaga. Sino ba hindi natakot? Uh, November, uh, no, December 2019, meron tayong balita ng, ano, ng Australian fire. Bush fire. Nabalita niyo po ba yan? And then, uh, month of January 2020, Uh, we had a news about Iraq and Iran and US war and seemingly were on the brink of war during that time uh, natakot iba natakot sa inyo ako po natakot ako natakot ako and then pagkatapos po noon kung hindi po kayo kung kayo po ay familiar eh i think January or February Taal Volcano eruption naman ang news natin. Di ba? And then simultaneously, while we having wildfire in Australia, uh, while we having uh, US and Iran war, 
and then bring up World War III, and then, while we having Taal Volcano, sa China naman, meron namang, ano, nag-involve naman ng, ano, ang, ang virus. Di ba? Yung tinatawag natin, uh, before we call that uh, Wuhan virus, coronavirus, then it become COVID virus. And then, until the, until the present po, na-experience pa natin yung effect nito. So, Maraming nagtatanong po, maraming ano, maraming actually natatakot. Ano ba itong nangyayari sa, sa ating ito? Is this the end? Actually may mga quest, may mga Facebook na lumabas na ito na, ito na, ito na yung tapos. And then may mga may, may mga may mga post pa na huwag kayong magpapabaksin kasi pag nagpabaksin kayo, lalagyan na kayo ng 666. Sinakabasa noon. Natakot na. <laughs> actually, yun yung mga ano nagdagdag sa atin ng ng, ng, ng fear. And then Pagdating doon, we're thinking na parang tapos na. This is, is this the end? Parang ganon. So, Matthew 24, verse 36, it says, this will be our text, but at about that day or hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So, wala nakakaalam ng exact date or exact hour. Even the Son of Man. Even Jesus Christ, even the angels, only the Father knows the exact date. So, natatakot tayo. Natatakot tayo. To better understand this, kinakailangan po ay, sa ating pag po, makita natin yung ano, makita natin yung pinaka, ano, pinaka kabuuan nito. So, be watchful. This should be our topic uh, today. Be watchful. Mapagmasid tayo. Why? Kasi nga, From our passage, hindi natin alam kung kailan yung eksakto. But this is the end. And then to understand this better, let's let's read or let's let's study. I'll give you the background of chapter 24. If we read chapter 24 of Matthew, verse 1 to 3, ate, sa verse 1 to 3 po, uh, there was a discussion between uh, Jesus Christ and His disciples. His disciples asking Him about these uh, the signs. Lord, kailan ba, kailan ba itong wakas na ito? Sabi kasi ni Jesus Christ, time will come, lahat na nakikita niyong building na yan, magigiba lahat yan, sabi ni Jesus Christ. Sabi ng mga alagad, what will be the signs? Sabi ng mga alagad. So, verse 1 to 3. And then, from verse 5 to the following verses, sinabi ni Jesus Christ, this will be the sign. First, in verse 5, He said that there will be an Antichrist. Okay, may nakita na ba kayo Antichrist ngayon? May nakita na ba kayo? Wala pa. Okay, marami na ho. So actually sa Bible merong antichrist at saka merong small ano small antichrist sa Bible po. And then verse 6 to 7 sabi niya this will be the signs there will be wars and famine. Meron na ba tayong war? Nakakaroon ba tayo ng wars ngayon? Grabe na. Di ba? Famine. Nagutom na ba kayo? Dapat meron tayong weighing skill eh no? scale dito eh no? Nagutom na ba kayo? Ang totoo. Yun totoo. Ano po? <laughs> Famine. Sobrang ano, salot, nagutom. Actually, uh, I think uh, after a month of COVID virus uh, news, meron pang mga post ng ano, na meron daw mga locusts sa, uh, I think, Egypt or some, some, somewhere in Africa. Na, nabasa niya rin yun? Naniwala rin kayo? Butin mo ko hindi. <laughs> Pero actually, meron nangyari talaga. Pero hindi, hindi siya connected. Tapos meron pang mga balita ng ano, meron pang post na May mga isdang kinain, tapos ay mga namatay. Actually, ano yun, few years na po yun. Maraming taon na po pala nangyari yun. So, but the, the, the point is, seemingly, I'm using the word seemingly, parang ito na nga. Parang ito na nga. And then, ito yung importante, verse 15. There will be desecration of the temple. So, it means one of the signs that Christ will return yung exact date when the temple in Israel will be rebuilt. Kapag ganat na tayo na yun, rebuilding of the temple. So, that's the best sign. So, until now, we do not have the rebuilding of the temple. And then, if the temple was built, ang sabi dito, there will be desecration. Ibig sabihin nun, babastusin yung templo. Maglalagay sila ng Diyosan sa mismong templo. Ang buong mundo ay magkakaroon ng, ano, ng one world government And then, pagdating noon, papayagan na nila ang Israel na magtayo ng templo. 
until now wala pa. But they are preparing for the temple. Yes po. Ang point po, nagpi-prepare na sila. So, malapit na. Excuse lang po. Malapit na. So, those, those are the signs. And then, lastly, makikita natin si Jesus Christ sa bababa sa lupa. Sabi ko kahapon, imposible, mak, posi, posible or imposible makita natin si Christ na bababa. Buong mundo, makikita lahat instantly. Do you think kita natin lahat? If Jesus Christ will come down from heaven sa Jerusalem, makikita natin sa Pilipinas? Do you think makikita natin? Well, at present situation, at, at present technology that you have in your hands, kaya na po natin yun. Ano unang gagawin natin? Pag nakita natin si Christ bumaba, bubuksan natin yung cellphone natin at gagawin natin yun. Di ba? Ayun na si Christ. Nakagalan tayo. Tama ba? So, ibig sabihin, all the, these things are being prepared. Ayun na tayo. Hindi pa natin alam yung exact date. But, these are the signs na pinag-uusapan natin. Balikan natin yung talata natin. Kaya nga sinabi ng talata na but about the day and hour, no one knows. No one knows. So, from verse 1 up to verse 30, these are the signs. These are the signs. And then, verse 36, ang sabi, but we do not know the exact date and exact hour. Since we do not know the exact date and exact hour, and then the proceeding verses, sinabi ngayon ni Christ, parables. Ito explanation niya. So under, to understand better, the, the chapter 24, from verse 1 up to verse 36, this will be the signs of Christ's coming, of Christ's return. Fa- famine, uh, wars, uh, diseases, um, etc., etc. Rebuilding of the temple. Then verse 36, hindi nyo alam kung kailan mangyayari ito. You exact date, ha? exact date. But these are the signs. And then from following verses, sinabi ganyan yung mga parables. Ito yung parables. So, doon tayo sa parables ngayon, papasok. So, be watchful. Ito ngayon yung mga parables. Number one, since we do not know the exact date and exact hour, ang sabi ngayon, verse 37 to verse 42, keep on watching. Keep on watching. Dahil hindi natin alam yung exact date, magbantay kayo. Tumingin kayo. Bakit? Ang sabi sa verse 37, verse 37, To 42, ang sabi nito, as, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days of the, of the flood, before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day of Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them away. That is took them all away, that is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Keep on watching. For it will be sudden. Sudden means, means here, sa talatang ito ay mabilis. Mabilis. Sudden. Like a, uh, yung kidlat. Kapag po kayo ay nag-aaral ng theology, Meron po pinag-aaral ng theology ano, sa yung tinatawag na mga tribulations. Na, uh, have you heard about that? Tribulations? Uh, hindi. Uh, pagbalik ko, pag-usapan natin, ha? Sa mga sunod na buwan. Yung Christ will return, and then all the believers will be caught up. Yung irarapture daw tayo. Sa mga pro- proponents na tinatawag na pre-trib, ginagamit nila itong talatang ito, that the believers will be caught up before the persecutions. Yung tinatawag natin tribulations period. So, sinasabi ngayon na, The Church of Christ, the believers, will be caught up in a, in a uh, yung isang pikit ng mata. Bigla tayong mawawala ito, kukunin tayo rito. Parang ganyan, nagsasamba tayo, biglang nawala yung mga katabi ninyo. Ang malungkot ito, tayo naiwan. Huwag kayong magala, kasama nyo yung pastor ninyo naiwan. <laughs> Dalawa kami. <laughs> Yun ang masaya dito. So, sabi, dating ang Panginoon, and then pagdating ng Panginoon, kukunin tayo, biglaan. Sudden, napakabilis. Kaya ang sabi ng talat, sabi ng Jesus Christ, we do not know what will be the exact date and exact hour. But these are the signs. These are the signs. So, hindi natin tiyak kung kailan ito, keep on watching. Keep on watching. Kasi bigla yan. When the people are eating, 
Oh, kumakain tayo lahat, di ba? Noong lockdown, sarap po. Luluto, kain. Ano nasa isip nyo nun? Ano lulutuin? Mag-bake tayo, mag-barbecue tayo. Lahat lang pwedeng kainin, di ba? Tama, tama. Oh, tama. Wala mo kay church dun eh. So, yun yung yun time natin. And then, trabaho tayo. Di ba? After, after, your, after the lockdown, after the pandemic, after two or three months, anong una yung inisip ninyo? Inisip nyo ba na, wait, sana magka-church na kami? Yung bakit inisip ninyo? Nang wala kayong trabaho? Di ba, inisip, unang inisip nyo? Saan kaya ako papasok? O di bali, sarap naman ng boy sa Canada. Walang trabaho, may pera. Basta may EI. Huwag nilang uubusin kasi mayroong, ano nga, may tax yan, ha? Para huwag kayong problema sa January. So, ano point doon? 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 20. So those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built, in it only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. While Noah was building the ark, the people, definitely the people are aware. They were, they were aware of what's happening. Kasi nakita nila binibuild yung ark. Eh. Unfortunately, taken for granted. Hindi nila pinapansin. And seemingly, Maraming mana ng palataya ngayon na apektuhan din. Naging complacent tayo. Amin yun sa hindi. Naging complacent tayo. Nasarapan tayo sa bakasyon. Tama po ba? Be. Nasarapan tayo sa bakasyon. Kasi parang, wow! Nakalimutan natin yung ano? Nakalimutan natin, kristyano pa rin tayo. Nakalimutan natin yung spiritual responsibility natin. During, the, during this lockdown, Did you do your devotions? Wala, tumahimik. At tumahimik ang buong lupa sa harap niya. Did you do your devotions? Did you still read your Bible? What if biglang dumati si Christ? Pumunta sa church. Walang tao. Sabi ng tala, sabi ni Jesus Christ, keep on watching. For it will be sudden. Hindi natin, hindi natin in-expect. At mabilis lang ito. Mabilis lang ito. Christ will return very sudden. So, we need to keep on watching. Keep on watching. Amen po? Be watchful. Be preferred. Hindi ko alam kung kailan ito. I do not know the exact date, but certainly, He will return. Be watchful. Watch your life. Bantay pa natin ang buhay natin, ginagawa natin. Uh, it doesn't mean na wala tayong church ay pinabayaan mo na yung buhay mo. Pinabayaan mo na, balik ulit sa kasalanan. It doesn't mean na kung anong ugawi mo, ano, anong nakikita natin sa Facebook? Sayaw, TikTok, tan, tan, tan. Hindi ka na tinuloy. <laughs> Pangit eh. <laughs> ano yung pinagagawa natin? What's your habits? Di ba? Tandaan natin, nananatili pa rin, kristyano pa rin tayo. Amen? Keep on watching. Watch what you are doing today. Ano bang pinagkakabalahan nyo ngayon? Mga kapatid, darating na si Kristo. Tapos tayo, ano pinagkakabalahan natin? Di ba? So, be watchful. TikTok, picture challenge, throwback challenge. Anong, anong ngayon? Yung black and white, ano? Um, Hal ko, ano tawag nila? Yung mga picture ng black and white challenge. Ano, pastor, yung ba, yung ba ginawa nyo ngayon? Oh, wala naman kayo ngayon. Ano, wala naman. Okay, salamat po. Salamat po. So, be always ready. Always be, be, always be ready. Why? As if si Christ ay darating na ngayon. Yes, we do not know the exact date and the exact hour, but definitely, He will return the soonest possible. And it will be sudden. Secondly, keep on waiting. Keep on waiting. Why? For it is unexpected. It is unexpected. For it is unexpected. Verse 43, verse 44. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. Verse 44. So you also must be ready. Because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect Him. Ito na nga eh. So, if we are not expecting that Christ will return today, then He will come. 
As if, sabi parang magnanakaw. Well, ang magnanakaw, hindi natin alam kailan darating. Buti nila sa Canada, less ang magnanakaw dito. Di ba? Hindi kung wala. Hindi wala, less lang. Di ba? Ang bahay natin, mga salamin lang. Walang, walang bakal. Sa Pilipinas, may bakal na, may rehas pa, may aso pa, nananakawan pa rin. Kasi naghahanda tayo. Kasi alam natin may, may mga magdanakaw. At sabi ng Biblia, while you are eating, while you are busy doing your chores, while you are busy doing for your personal needs, while you are busy doing for your family, marrying, oh, yung mga mag-aasawa, marrying, and yung mga nagkakasayahan. Ano ho? Mary at saka yung marrying, masaya at saka yung mga mag-aasawa. Busy tayong lahat. Then, suddenly, Christ will return. And then, unexpectedly, habang kayo ay abala-abala tayo sa ating mga ginagawa, Christ will return. Yes, we need to keep on watching. And then, we need to keep on waiting. Dahil hindi natin inaasahan yung mga mangyayari yan. So, how to wait? How to wait? Paano ako maghihintay? Paano ako mag, mag, uh, maghahanda ng aking sarili? Well, we need to be prepared emotionally. We need to be prepared spiritually. Kahit na physical natin, handa ito. Huwag tayong abutan na complacent. Huwag tayong abutan na tatamad-tamad. Wala naman tamad dito, di ba? Bawal ang tamad. Bawal sa atin ang tamad, sa anak ng Diyos. Kaya nasabi ko kayo na, uh, did you do your devotions? Do your devotions. Do your ministry. Do good to others. Still, we need to give our tithes. We need to give our offerings. Kasi, para magpatuloy ang gawain ng ating Panginoon, we are praying for this building. Amen po ba? So we need to continue our ministry. Huwag tayong titigil. Hindi dahil sa nangyari sa atin ng pagsubok, titigil na tayo. O sino sa inyong tumigil at para bagang sinabi nyo ng Aya, wana, uwi, ana. Di ba? Christ will return. And all these things that are, that is hap, uh, are happening, ay ano, ano sabi rito? These are the signs that Christ will return the soonest possible. And then we are caught unaware. Kasi busy tayo sa mga nangyayari sa ating paligid. Hello. Well, lahat tayo naka-experience nito. Lahat tayo ay, actually, mas maganda pa kalagayan nito. Kaya, kaya kalagayan ninyo. We've been locked down for four months in the Philippines. We left uh, February 20. We arrived February 22. Supposed to be March 24. Balik na kami dito. We've been locked down for four, almost four months. Three months and one week. And then after, when we arrived in Canada, another 14 days. Quarantine. Ah, nakakainit. Di ba? Sa Pilipinas pa, hinat ng signal. Talagang, text kami, taas. Tutut, baba uli. Text, basa uli. Text, taas. Ang hirap. But, we survive. We survive. We survive. Mga Kristiyano tayo, di ba? Mga Kristiyano tayo, di ba? Survivor tayo. Amen? Survivor tayo. Ano mang pagsubok na dinaan sa buhay ninyo ngayon, survivor tayo. We will survive because God is with us. And don't forget, na lahat ng pangyayaring ito, may plano ang Diyos. And we believe that God, still, God is in control. What if dumating ang Panginoon? What if Namala lahat ang buhay natin. What if namatay lahat ang tao rito? Titigil na tayo? No, still we need to stand with our faith. Kasi mananampalataya tayo. We are, we, we are uh, believers of Christ. And as believers of Christ, we are, we are expecting for His return. And we believe that He will return para kunin tayo. And then bring us to heaven. Amen po. So, ano sabi sa atin? Keep on waiting. Keep on waiting. Psalms 130, verse 6, I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the mat- morning. Ano yung watchman? Yung tao sa tower. Yung tao doon, nakatingin siya. Doon siya darating na kalaban. Nakatingin siya kung may darating na messenger. Nakatingin, nakatingin siya, nakapokus lang sa, yun sa kanyang tinitingnan. Ang sabi nung sumulat ng Psalms, I waited. I waited for the Lord as a watchman. Yung watchman po, ang iniisip lang yan, sana umaga na at matapos na sana yung duty ko. Ano yun? Focus, 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 focus. How's your focus? How's your focus? Kumasay focus po natin sa ministry? Kumasay focus po natin sa church? Lumabo na po ba? Katulad po ba ng salamin at naka, naka, 
nakamas at nakasalamin pa nagsasalita ka, nagkakaroon ng ano. Kaya tinanggal ko kasi hindi ko makikita. Puro, ang tawag dito? Pag. <laughs> Basta yun. We are waiting for the Lord. Why? Kasi darating siya. And darating siya sa time na unexpected. So we, we need to keep on waiting. Sabi po na sa quotation, by failing to prepare, you are preparing preparing to to fail. Kapag hindi tayo nag-prepare, if we do not wait for God and we are not prepared when Jesus Christ returns, then we failed. Kasi hindi tayo prepared. And I don't believe that Lloyd Minister believers are not prepared. Ika prepared tayo? Amen po ba? Prepared na prepared nga kayo. Then lastly, we need to keep on waiting. We need to keep on watching. And then, and then we need to keep on serving. Accountability. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, these are the signs. These are the signs. Sa gitna, ito yung ganda ng, ang ganda ng, ano eh, ng, ng writings ng March 24. Eh. First, verse 1 to 3, questions. Ito yung problem. Lahat ng building na ito magugunaw. Sabi ng mga alagad, uh, when will it be? Following verses na ni Christ, these are the signs. Verse 36, but we do not sure. We do not sure the exact date. And then sabi ni Jesus Christ, these are the parables. Ano yung parables number one? Keep on watching. Darating si Christ, katulad ni Noah. Sa time ni Noah. Keep on waiting. Kasi parang magnanakaw yan. Parang magnanakaw. Unexpectedly. And then lastly, keep on serving. Why? Kasi ang sabi ng talata, verse 45, following verses, it says, Who then is the faithful, faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of the servants in his household to give their, them their food and at proper time? Verse 46, It will be good for the servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. Papatan tayo. Sino sa inyo ang inamad na? Inamad na? Sa buhay? Nangihina na? Nandulupaypay na? Parang, <sighs> hirap na buhay namin ngayon. Nawala yung routine sa buhay natin. Dami issue sa buhay natin. Kami mag-asawa na sa Pilipinas, nakatingalaan na lang kami ganun. Gigising kami ng eight, gigisingin na kami, kakain na. Mamaya na po kami lalabas kasi may devotion kami sa, ng 10 o'clock sa Pilipinas, 8, 10 a.m., 8 p.m. sa Pilipinas, atin kami ng devotions. So, after that, pumunta kami sa kusina, kakain. Kapag kakain namin, si Jack magpupunta sa kwarto, ay sa kusina, maglilinis, siyempre ganda ng babae talaga. Parang ginoong katulong talaga. No? Naglilinis sa kusina. Bahay naman kasi nila yun eh. Ako pasok sa kwarto, tingala uli. Hawak ko uli aking iPad. Buti nila merong garden escape. Hindi nyo alam yun? Ganda ko yun. <laughs> Laro na lang akong ganun. Tapos, oh, pupunta sa kwarto. Luto, luto ka naman. Oh, luluto naman. Pagkatapos luluto, kakain, pagkakain. Tutulog na naman. Tapos pagkatulog, gigising kami ng mother niya. Merienda kayo ng suman, mga sarili luto, kasi nasa province kami. And then after that, maya-maya, uy, alas 5, alas 6 na, oh, luto na uli, luto na uli. Pagkatas sa pagkaluto, dahil probinsya yon, kain na uli. Pagkakain, kanya-kanya lang punta sa kwarto, tulog na uli. Ganon. Two months. Walang aeroplano. Sarado aeroplano. Ano gagawin namin? Online, ang hirap ng signal. Parang, ah, ano mo nangyayaring ito? Nakaka-relate ba kayo sa nangyari sa buhay ninyo? And then seemingly parang wala namang ministry sa church eh. Wala namang ministry sa church, parang wala nangyayari. But I want, I, I want to commend, binati ko po sila kagabi. Ah, kagabi? Tawa kagabi na yun ano? Kahapon. And, and I want to commend then again sa harapan ninyo. Ito yung mga nag-serve sa inyo. During the lockdown. They keep on practicing, they keep on recording. Pastor, thank you sa message na dineliver sa inyo, sa mga pastor na nag-deliver sa inyo na message online, sa mga staff doon na nag-asikaso, sa inyong mga officers ng church, even na uh, ginawa ang paraan lahat, 
nang maabot tayo lahat sa pananambahan. Di ba? They did that. Para kanino? Para sa church. Sad, sad to say, tayo mga mana ng palataya, ito nakakalungkot eh. Anong ginawagama natin? Sunday morning. Mag, ma, online. What, what time is your online service? 10? O, oh, 10 o'clock na. Service na tayong 10 o'clock. Ano ginagawa natin na Sunday? Nakabalot pa tayo ng kumot. Uy, gising na! Magsisip, mag na tayo, meron tayong online. Kukunin yung cellphone, bubuksan, tapos magla-like pa tayo uli. At least nakita ka na ron. Watch. Tama-tama. Sad to say, baka nagtatrabaho pa tayo kung ano pa ginagawa natin. Hindi natin binigyan talaga ng atensyon yung pagsama sa ating Panginoon. Keep on watch. Be watchful. Be watchful. Keep on watching. Keep on waiting. And then keep on serving. Mga kapatid, mga kapatid even this, on this pandemic, still we need to serve God. Amen po. Alam ko po, may kanya-kanya tayong experience, may kanya-kanya tayong reasons sa buhay natin. But, but don't let this reason become an excuse. Yes, we do have our own reasons sa mga nangyari sa buhay natin. But do not let these reasons ay gawin nating excuse sa ating pagsamba at sa ating paglilingkod sa ating Panginoon. Amen? And I do believe Sabi sa Pilipinas, babangon tayo. Amen? We're back on business. Amen? We're back on business. Building lang ang nag-close. Church building lang ang nag-close. Pero ang church patuloy na sumasamba at maglilingkod sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Si Satanas gumawa ng paraan para ang church ay mapatigil lahat. Pero tayo, hindi tayo papapayag na tumigil ang church ng ating Panginoon. And we need to keep on serving the Lord even on this pandemic. Amen? Hindi tayo papayag. Kaya wag tayong pumayag. Tapos naman na kayong magsipag-camp, tapos naman na kayong mamasyal, di ba? Tapos na ba? Hindi pa kayo mamasyal? Hindi pa kayo nagpapas ng mga, hindi pa kayo nakarati ng, hindi pa kayo nag, itong year to, hindi pa kayo nagpunta ng band? Hindi pa kayo nagpunta ng Lake Luis? Naka-schedule na ho. Kay Lord naman tayo. Amen? Kay Lord naman tayo. So, and we want to hear His commendation. Why? We need to keep on serving because we will give an account. We will give an account. Matthew 25 verse, 20, 25 verse 21, His master replied, After our serving, after our service for the Lord, time will come, we will give an account to the Lord. He will return and we will, we will give account everything that God has been entrusted to us. We will give an account. Matthew 25 verse 21, His master replied, we want to hear these things, these words. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's business. We will face him. We will see him face to face. And we will give an account everything that the Lord has given us. Your talent, your time. Ibigay lahat natin to. Yes. Habi ko kayo na, we have so many reasons. Iba-iba reasons natin. And most of those reasons were acceptable, acceptable and justified. Bakit tayo nanghina? Bakit tayo parang tinamad na rin? But don't forget, uh, don't let these ex- uh, reasons become an excuse. Nagawin natin, excuse na lang natin yun. Naalala ko lang. I, I, I think, uh, pinost ko siya, nirepost ko siya. If you were born in 1900s, sino po sa inyo pinanganak dito na 1900? Kaya yun, hindi naman kayo 1900s yan, hindi naman. Pastor, mas bata pa rin, ano? hindi pa naman. Kung pinanganak ka noong 1900s, think of this, 1900s, when you are 14, day, 14 years, 1914, there was a World War I. Right? Kung pinanganak ka noong 1900s, if you are 14 years old, 1914, there was World War I. And then, when you are 18 years old, merong Spanish flu that killed 50 million people. Think of this. 
Think of this. 14 years old ka, na-experience mo World War I. Nung 18 years old ka, na-experience mo yung Spanish flu. When you are 36 years old, up to 41 years old, pagdating mo ng 41 years old, na-experience mo, if you survive, ha, if you survive, if you survive World War I, and then if you survive, hindi ka namatay sa 15 million na Spanish flu, then you experience World War II, 1941. Hindi pa rin, hindi pa rin pinapanak, hindi pa rin ano? Hindi pa rin. <laughs> 1941, hindi pa rin. Buhay ka pa rin. Hindi ka namatay. Ibay ng buhay mo. Pagdating ng 1950s, Korean War. Hindi ka pa rin namatay, buhay ka pa rin. 1970s, Vietnam War. Buhay ka pa rin. Kung Pilipino ka, 1986, inabot pa EDSA Revolution. Buhay ka pa rin. Tapos tayo ngayon, 200 years. Think of this, think of this. During that time, there was no Wi-Fi. Hello? No cell phone. No air condition. Wala electricity ang mga bahay. Walang, walang gripo ang mga tubig sa bahay. Sa Pilipinas, ano ginagawa natin? Lumaki ako na nag-iigib ako. Bundok ang inaakyat ko. Sa balon. But today, 2020, we experience the pan this pandemic, COVID virus, meron tayong Wi-Fi. Meron kayong kuryente sa bahay. Kompleto kayo ng pagkain. May face mask tayo. Everything that the world can offer, meron tayo. Pero reklamador tayo. Hello. Yung buhay nila noon, ang tindi. Ang hirap nila. But they survived. Pero tayo mga Kristiyano ngayon, Ang hina ng wifi namin. Ubos na yung pagkain namin. Wala kami mabake ngayon. Wala kami mabiling harina. Hindi ako nakapagpagupit. Naku yung kulay ng buho ko. Pangit na. Lumalabas na yung itim. Hindi ako nakapagpa-check up. Hindi ako nakapagpa-cleaning sa dentist. Ano yung mga nare-reklamo natin? Hello? Ano yung mga nare-reklamo natin ngayon? But during that time, they experienced World War I. They experienced Spanish flu that killed 50 million people. Ilan ba namamatay sa Pilipinas na isa ano ngayon? Sa mundo ngayon? Meron na ba tayong 1 million? Wala pa, di ba? Wala pa. Pero, kumusta ang attitude natin? Mga kapatid, still, you are a Christian. You are a Christian. You are a believer of Christ. And you are a warrior. You are a conqueror. You are a survivor. We will survive this pandemic. We need to keep on serving. We need to keep on serving. Because we will keep an account when we, when we see him face to face. Ang sabi po sa Life Application Study Bible, knowing that Christ's return will be sudden and unexpected, it should motivate us always to be prepared. We are not to live responsibly, sitting, waiting, doing nothing, seeking self-serving pleasure, using this tarrying as an excuse not to do God's work for of building His kingdom. Hindi excuse ang experience natin ngayon sa paglilingkod sa atin Panginoon. Amen? We will keep on serving the Lord. Magkikita pa rin tayo sa linggo? Ayan po ba? Magkikita pa rin tayo sa linggo? Amen. As an application, knowing that Christ's return is near. So, simple lang. Be watchful, be ready, and be responsible. Amen? Lord, we want to thank you. We want to praise your name, O God. Lord, sorry. Sorry, Lord, kung naging complacent kami naapektuhan kami ng mga situation instead of being grateful because you have been our provider you have been our healer for the past few weeks and months Lord, you did not forsake us Lord sorry sorry Lord, being complacent Lord being idle 
We're praying. We're praying, Lord, Lord, enlighten us. Speak unto us. Renew our spirit, O God. Reignite our spirit, O Lord. Help us to focus on you. Help us to focus on your will, O God. Instead of focusing on the things that is happening, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We will continue to praise you. We will continue to, to watch. We will continue to wait. And we will continue to serve you. Because we know that you are in control. You are in control, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wala pa kang ng Panginoon. And God bless you all.